recording? Yes. Hi, my name is Christopher Grant Ward with Folk for Parks. I'm voting yes on Proposition 21. During the last year, I've had the incredible opportunity to visit over 100 California state parks. In just the last two weeks, I took a road trip to 45 parks. Bodie State Historic Park. I'm here at the Joss House. Pelican State Beach. Octilia Wells and Anza Borrego. Shasta State Historic Park. Jedediah Smith State Park. 6 a.m. at Lake Paris State Recreational Area. Henry Coe State Park outside of Morgan Hill. Each park I visited was a museum, each preserving a part of our state's beauty and history. This preservation requires a consistent and constant effort in order to be effective. Proposition 21 will guarantee park funding outside of the general budget, allowing California to make the right decisions for the long term. What I also discovered was that California state parks are not a special interest. 75 million people visit California state parks annually, generating 300 million in sales tax revenue for California and directly supporting small businesses and communities across the state. Like in Miranda, Weaverville, Bridgeport, and Julian, beautiful small towns that provided me with hotels, meals, gas, and supplies over the last two weeks. Consistent funding of our state parks allows parks to remain open to the public. On November 2nd, I'd like to see real results for an issue that matters to most Californians, regardless of where we live, regardless of party lines. I'm voting for Prop 21 because it solves the California State Parks funding problem once and for all. For a relatively small portion of the total California budget, Prop 21 ensures that all of our park system is protected and preserved, and that the beauty and history of our state parks are exempt from having to prove their value on an annual basis. Vote yes on Prop 21.